good morning from day number five. Of our virgin voyages, resiliently, Greek Island Glow. This is our day at sea. And last night, it got lit. Because it was scarlet <clears> night. <throat> the boat is very quiet this morning. Yes. And we got to relax. And we have a brunch reservation that we're going to go to at Razzle Dazzle. The Razzle Dazzle. And our goal is to finish eating everything on this boat for the most part. I heard that we, what's that, Luna Library, right? Lola's Library. Oh, Lola's Library. We're going to go see that. We're going to try to Yeah, we're going to try that. to catch some shows today. So join us today as we figure out what to do on the boat when it's a day at sea. I'm really curious to see how crowded the boat feels today because nobody can get off. And I have felt like the boat has not been crowded at all. So let's see what it feels like when everyone is here hanging out. We are having brunch this morning at Razzle Dazzle. This is our first time in Razzle Dazzle, but we'll be eating dinner here tomorrow night. And I believe this is one of two restaurants that do brunch on the ship that are sit down. We've ordered a lot of food. I got a juice, got my coffee and some pastries. I'm eating a scone. We ordered the bottomless brunch drink menu package thing. Which includes mimosas, draft beer, rosé, a drink called Yas Queen, and Bloody Marys. Oh, and I still do not have a full voice. Day number five. This is my $9 juice. Walk, walk. I hope it's worth it. <laughs> oh, vitamin C. It's good. Pretty strong ginger flavor, <laughs> if you like that. Welcome to our Razzle Dazzle brunch. Drink number one. This is the Yas Queen, and it has sparkling wine, hibiscus, ginger and fun so let's see how it tastes Ooh. it actually made me want to say yes <laughs> yes queen go off girl boss it has really good ginger i love ginger so both the juice and that yes queen have a really good ginger flavor so, so i got the gazpacho it's very tomatoey but it has, I think it has sesame oil on it. So it has a little bit of like an Asian, Asian spice flavor. And then I just ate something that was a little bit spicy. I don't know what it was. It wasn't exactly what I was looking for in a gazpacho because the ones that I've had have been a little more cucumbery and refreshing. And this is a little more kind of tomatoey and acidic, but it's something really unique. I don't, I've never tasted anything like this. The watermelon though, just like a cross section of a watermelon with granola and frozen fruit and blended tofu because I forgot this is the like vegan vegetarian restaurant, except they have a couple of meats. That is delightful. I highly recommend the watermelon. The next drink on our brunch extravaganza is the Bloody Mary, which is a Bloody Mary with vodka, but it has red chilies in it and it's supposedly spicy, so. Yep, it's a Bloody Mary, and it's spicy. I said Bloody Mary. It's, spicy. it's got like little chunks of something in it. It's got good flavor, pretty solid. Drink number three, the mimosa. Nice. It's got that Florida OJ in it. Yeah, it's good. So we just got done with our feast at Razzle Dazzle, and we had the watermelon, the gazpacho, avocado toast, the buckwheat waffle, Razzle breakfast, chicken sandwich, and oh, the a frittata, frittata. And we got all three of their dessert options. <laughs> it was delicious. Uh, one of them was like a cake, chocolate cake, and then a green tea and berry green tea cheesecake, and then churros with ube ice cream. The ice cream, if you like ube, it didn't taste super ube-y. It's just pretty sweet. It just tasted like ice cream to me. The cheesecake was really good. It was tart, 
So that was a nice little change. The waffle was very crispy, so I enjoyed that. Evidently, the bun on the chicken sandwich was dry. Also, other members of our party got the acai bowl, which got a thumbs up. Yeah, and we got some of the a side of the bacon, and it's like it's like candied bacon. That was good too. I will say I have not liked any of the coffee that I've had on this ship because it's a little fruity and it's not super strong. And they, they might be making like the coffee might be like Americano espresso and water situation. But even the espresso, if you drink it fresh, it's okay. But then if you let it sit, it gets a really just fruity and like it had a little bit of a salty flavor yesterday. I would recommend if you're getting off the ship to just get some Greek coffee at a local coffee shop. Don't pay the like $6 on the ship unless you like fruity coffee, but I personally don't and I have not, I'm a bit of a coffee snob, I have not liked the coffee on the ship, which makes me sad. We're back here at the galley and I am trying two of the restaurants that close early around 3 p.m. which one is the ramen place which is noodle around because noodles. I ordered a ramen and the other one is let's taco about it and then I also ordered two of their tacos. Let's dive in. Not the best ramen. It's like they're all stuck together. Yes ramen's not supposed to do that. It's not bad ramen. Like we've had bad ramen, but the broth is primarily just salty. And I think we waited a little too long to eat it. The seaweed sat in it and got it kind of seaweedy. And then the noodles were just cooked a little too long, but yeah, it's still a decent ramen. Just not, we've had some really good ramen. We've had some really bad ramen. This is mid. So I ordered the fish tacos and the carnitas, and then they gave me a lame excuse of nachos or tortilla chips. Now, in their defense, I came about 15 minutes before they closed, but they gave me like five chips. It looks like they're corn tortillas, which is exciting. I don't know if I've ever had non-fried like fish tacos before, but it's pretty good. The chips are really good, which is sad because they only gave me like five. And then the carnitas. Those are good. I understand why there was a long line. Because, well, uh, who reads? <laughs> but Mr. Dick insisted he loves a 
the novel and he's quite persuasive. But that nobody can. But the crew you can tell are big. Big. <laughs> Readers! Tonight is not just about me. Well, the crew are eager to have you down here, so do you consent to be brave? <laughs> I have your next book right here! <laughs> it's the damn book bandit! Oh, there's this guy, well, monster, and he keeps breaking into the library and stealing all of our treasured books! They're free in the first place! It's the whole idea! And at this point, his late fees are astronomical. <laughs> the book bandit is a librosexual, which, um, <laughs> you can imagine. I want, I want, let's have a kiki.
I think everything's f and I don't think it's gonna get better ever. So let's have fun with that! This concludes our day at sea. I don't even remember what we did today because this was more of an R&R &R day. Went to the pool, had some brunch, had snacks, took a nap. We ate a lot today. Yeah, we went to brunch. We relaxed. We discovered some more parts of the ship. We walked around the track a little bit. We saw the shows, which Aubrey really enjoyed Lola's library and it kind of reminded me of like Bill and Ted at Halloween Horror Nights or what that show used to be like a little raunchy it was um, more than a little raunchy. adult but, themed <clears throat> yeah but it was really like quirky and all the costumes and dances and songs were really fun so that's why I liked it there was a lot of acrobatics in it too, like aerial acrobatics. We also had dinner at The Wake, which is the steakhouse on board. So let's talk about The Wake. Well, we're actually going there a second time on Saturday, which is why we just used tonight as a day to have dinner with mm -hmm. the full group. There are better restaurants. I mean, it was really good. Don't get us wrong. But we've been to so many steakhouses that it was like, yeah, this is, this is a good steakhouse. It wasn't like... Out of this world. Yeah, it was it was a solid steakhouse. So if that's what you're looking for. Also, the star of my dinner was the crispy polenta, which was their vegetarian option for an entree. And it was like this really crispy polenta, like kind of like a square of cornbread, but it was super crispy on the outside. Then it had some type of spinach and like super delicious cream inside. And that wasn't the favorite, my favorite thing that I ate. <laughs> my favorite thing was a dessert which you'll have to tune back in on day number seven so you mm -hmm. can see it. But it was shaped like a lemon. It was really good. Tomorrow, we are arriving in Mykonos, and we're doing a group catamaran. So if you want to see that, hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment and tell us what you do for R&R &R on a cruise ship. We hope to see you in the next one. Don't lick the camera.